Hello, in today's video, I'm going to share five classic dinner staples that are quick and easy to make and definitely fit the whole food life. Best of all, they're versatile so you can alter them any way you like or be creative with them. But before I share the classic dinner staples, I want to clarify what dinner staples are. They're essentially meals that you can rely on when you don't have a lot of time to spend in the kitchen. These are meals you can prep on the weekend, even freeze, and easily heat throughout the week when you're busy. And if you and your family like variety, you can switch up the ingredients to make something unique each time you prepare the meal. These are meals you'll never get bored of. So here are the classic dinner staples with suggestions on how to prepare them. First is rice. Rice is a grain that comes in many varieties that produce different textures such as long grain, short grain, jasmine, brown, wild, even red rice. All you have to do to prepare rice is soak it overnight. If you have gastrointestinal issues or want to speed up the cooking process, or rinse to remove any foreign materials, then add to boiling water if you're using a pan. Once added to boiling water, drain excess water so only a quarter inch is above the rice. Cover and reduce the simmer for about half an hour. Or you can use a rice cooker and follow its manufacturer instructions. With rice, you can pair it with virtually any type of sauce, from curries to stews. You can also cook and saute rice with sauces and other ingredients, such as if you're making a fried rice or tomato-based rice, like Spanish rice or jollof rice, which is a West African style of rice. Second is pasta. Pasta is a processed grain, bean, or starch product that comes in a variety of shapes, sizes, and even flavors. Think about tricolor pasta. As hinted at before, pasta is traditionally a wheat product, but nowadays there are a lot of quality gluten-free pastas available made from rice, beans, corn, quinoa, and more. I did a review on one quality pasta product I recommend, which I'll link below. Preparing pasta is very easy. For most pasta, you just add it to boiling water, stirring occasionally until it becomes al dente, which is a soft but still firm texture. For some pasta, such as lasagna, you'll add or layer it in a baking pan with other ingredients to cook together. With pasta, you can throw it into any sauce, soup, or salad. You can bake it into a hot dish or casserole. Pasta cooks quickly, so you can easily whip up your very own spaghetti sauce, ravioli, or lasagna with ingredients that are your own unique combination. Third is soup. This also includes stews. Soups are perfect any time of the year and can be light and nourishing or thick and hearty. You can create soups for when you're sick, not too hungry, or when you want something comforting and warm for colder seasons. There are usually two kinds of soups, one that is broth-based and one that is cream-based or thick. For broth-based soups, all you need is a poultry or vegetable broth, which are widely available in cartridges at grocery stores, seasonings and add-ins such as vegetables, meat, even rice and pasta. For thick soups, you'll add a cream or puree base such as milk or tomato puree. Depending on the recipe, you may add broth or water, but once the base is created, you'll add your seasonings and mix-ins. This is one staple where you can be very creative. I've seen cold pea soups, which are great for the summer, hearty vegetable and chicken noodle soups, which are great for any time of the year, and rich vegetable beef and lentil stews, which are excellent for the winter. The sky's the limit with this one. Fourth is salad. Salads are popularly known to be leafy, but this can be pasta-based, even fruit-based. Salads don't have to be light and skimpy with virtually nothing in them. They can be hearty and filling. With salads, you can quickly whip them up and they can do well when traveling since you don't have to heat them up. Just make sure they're stored in a temperature controlled container so they don't spoil. For classic leaf based salads, opt for hearty leaves such as kale and spinach. You can also go for a mix of leaves that include cabbage and sprouts. Throw in whatever vegetables you like such as cucumber, tomatoes, even avocado. Go with onions and seasonings for added flavor. Avocados and olives can also enhance the flavor if you don't want to rely on too much salad dressing. And with salad dressing, consider making your own using vinegar and olive oil as the base. Other salads you can make are bean, fruit, pasta, slaw, dressing base, even cream base. Or you can be weird like me and forgo the dressing, relying on the flavors of your primary ingredients. This lends the opportunity to be very creative. I've seen some pretty clever salad recipes 
such as squash, orzo salad, and watermelon feta salad. I really think this is one staple you can't fail experimenting with. Fifth is flatbreads. This is essentially pizza, but flatbreads are one staple that can be a year-round favorite with family and friends, likely even yourself. There are also gluten-free pizza dough and artesian bread mixes from Simple Mills that I recommend for those of you who have celiac disease or gluten sensitivity. But with flatbreads, once you make the bread or purchase it, all you have to do is top it with your favorite ingredients and seasonings like tomatoes, basil, and black olives for something Italian inspired, or sauteed onions, grilled chicken, and barbecue drizzle for something southwestern inspired. This is another dinner staple that you really can't mess up experimenting with. So those are the five dinner staples. The major benefits to them is not only are they versatile, but they're quick to prepare which means you can make them from scratch and control the quality and type of ingredients that are in them. What you need on hand is quality rice, pasta, broth, and bread mixes, and you're good to go. The rest are really what you choose to add to make it your own, and those can definitely be found in the whole food diet. So go with these five dinner staples and never struggle making a decision on what's for dinner. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful and that it solved your problem of meal planning. If you did find this video valuable, please like, comment, and share so others looking for meal planning or dinner solutions can find this video as well. Subscribe for more whole food and nutrition videos and until next time, take care.